Agnes woke up early, as always, before the sun even thought about peeking over the mountains. She felt the cold outside through the cracks in the walls of her little house, but inside, there was warmth. It came from the steam rising from her chipped teacup, filled with her morning tea. Across the dusty road, the old mine stood tall and quiet, like a giant sleeping on its back. It used to be full of life, Agnes remembered, her grandpa telling her stories of pickaxes ringing and carts overflowing with shiny black coal. Now, it was just an empty hole in the ground, a reminder of good times gone by. The town where Agnes lived used to be bustling too. Factories smoked in the distance, houses were full of families, and kids played in the streets. Now, it was silent. The factories were closed, the houses boarded up, and the streets were empty. But Agnes wouldn't give up. Her eyes, though old and a little bit cloudy, still sparkled with hope. She had her granddaughter, Lily, a little girl with eyes the color of the summer sky and hair like sunshine. Lily was Agnes's reason to keep going, to fight against the sadness that hung in the air like a thick fog. Every morning, Agnes made her famous honey rolls. They were golden brown and soft, with the sweetness of honey and the warmth of sunshine baked right in. When the smell of those rolls filled the air, it was like a little bit of happiness spreading through the dusty town. Today, though, Agnes was worried. Lily was sick, her cough echoing through the house like a sad song. Agnes needed more coins than usual to buy medicine and food. And that's why she was waiting for the auction day. The auction was the only time when people came to the town, looking for things to buy. Agnes would set up her little stall with her honey rolls, her secret jam, and maybe a chipped vase she found in the attic. It wasn't much, but it was enough to keep them going. One by one, people came to her stall. A man with a beard as tangled as roots poked at a roll with a dirty finger, complaining that it was old. Agnes argued back, her voice strong even though her hands were shaking. In the end, the man walked away with a jar of jam, and Agnes kept her coins and her pride. But then, she saw her. A little girl, no older than Lily, stood at the edge of the crowd, her eyes wide with hunger. Her clothes were dirty and torn, and her bare feet were covered in dust. Agnes's heart ached for her. Without thinking, she took a roll, warm and golden, and walked towards the girl. Here, she said, her voice soft like a whisper. Have this. The girl's eyes grew even wider, then filled with tears. She took the roll hesitantly, holding it close to her chest like a precious treasure. Agnes squeezed her hand, a silent promise passing between them. In that moment, something shifted inside Agnes. It wasn't about the coins or the auction or even the empty mine. It was about kindness, about sharing a small piece of hope with someone else. And in that simple act, Agnes found a new kind of strength, a strength that came from the warmth of her heart, not from the darkness outside. She watched as the girl walked away, the golden roll a beacon of light in her dirty hands. And even though the sun still hadn't reached the valley, Agnes felt a flicker of warmth inside her. She knew that as long as there were people like her, the girl, and Lily, 
the town wouldn't truly die. Even in the darkest of times, hope could find a way to bloom, just like the sweetness of honey in her golden rolls.